sickness can determine the last straw of your life ladies and gentlemen friends and loved ones support us about foundation the cl foundation for health diabetes and asthma and cerebral palsy we are knocking at your doors knocking at your pockets knocking at your emotions support me and my team to support people living with diabetes asthma and cerebral palsy your donations are welcome on a62 Two and five two zero zero seven. Your zero eight six two two and five two zero zero seven. MTN Ghana numbers zero five five zero 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 five zero seven seven zero five five zero 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 five zero seven seven. It is the MTN number CL Foundation for Health and Support. Help us. With the diabetes equipment, glucometers, wheelchairs, old clothing, new clothing, financial support, and let's give it to the needy. Thank you for your support. Yari yo, yari yas. Obi benya one fi yari. Yamfa yari nsu nyani pa. Sichre yari nino. Sickness can determine the last straw of your life. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and loved ones, support us about foundation, the CL Foundation for Health, Diabetes and Asthma and Cerebral Palsy. We are knocking at your doors, knocking at your pockets, knocking at your emotions. Support me and my team to support people living with diabetes, asthma and cerebral palsy. Your donations are welcome on 862 215 Your zeal, 862 215 2007 MTM Ghana numbers 055 000 5077 055 000 5077 It is the MTN number CL Foundation for Health and Support Help us with the diabetes equipment glucometers wheelchairs old clothing new clothing financial support and let's give it to the needy thank you for your support i hope you can hear the sound but what i'm chewing is nothing but it's ginger honey chips ginger honey chips now in the united states of america everywhere you want 862-215-2007 You can chew it like this Or better still Put it on your cocoa Rice water Oatmeal You can put it in me Your whiskey Your brandy Anything you want to put it on it It's so nice <laughs> So nice 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 <laughs> Oh my god! Ginger honey chips 862 215 2007. 862 215 2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. $10 free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Is bad breath distancing you from your friends? Worry no more because NBF Gingival Gel will put a smile on your face again. It is good for bad breath, tooth decay, and gum issues. NBF Gingival Gel has antioxidant properties of vitamin C and E and soothing properties of propolis. It can also be used as a toothpaste. You can also mix it with water and gargle with it. Always remember that anytime we talk about bad breath, NBF Gingival Gel will be there to do the magic for bulk purchase contact light pharma and leading pharmaceuticals or call us on 0200-799-325 or 0267-569-764 nbf gingival gel your new best friend for your mouth this advertisement has been approved by the fda is 
Does bad breath distancing you from your friends? Worry no more because NBF Gingival Gel will put a smile on your face again. It is good for bad breath, tooth decay, and gum issues. NBF Gingival Gel has antioxidant properties of vitamin C and E and soothing properties of propolis. It can also be used as a toothpaste. You can also mix it with water and gargle with it. Always remember that anytime we talk about bad breath, NBF Gingival Gel will be there to do the magic for bulk purchase contact light pharma and leading pharmaceuticals or call us on 0200-799-325 or 0267-569-764 nbf gingival gel your new best friend for your mouth this advertisement has been approved by the fda is bad breath this What you Femi Blex, I fate I can't more home Femi Blex, or number one. Support me, new system. Yeah, you know, my bike. Ah, let's not go be a bit too good. Me, I can't support my boost your phone in our new system. Hey, that's such a vital t shirt. But t shirt, ah, the pump of the funk, I know. t shirt will go, mommy. Boss, tell your missile, Mr. Bossy, Mr. Willie One. Okay, thank you. I'm supporting a new system. And you're well being. FICO 20 is not suitable for children under 12 years of age, pregnant women, and lactating mothers. A quality product from Joy Hepo Center. This advertisement has been better than approved. Biker, who support me? New system. Mm. Yeah, you know, my bike. in here. Ah, let's not go be a bit too quick. Go to me. Me can support you. My boost your phone in our new system. Hey, what's that? She vibrate t-shirt. What t-shirt? Ah, yeah. Me can't buy the fan car. You know, the t-shirt will go, mommy. Boss, tell me, Mister, 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 come here, Mister, only one. Okay. Thank you. I'm supporting your new system. And your well-being. FICO 20 is not suitable for children under 12 years of age, pregnant women, and lactating mothers. A quality product from Joy Hepo Center. This advertisement has been better than approved. The search is over. Are you ready for 29th July? African most beautiful USA. Who wears the crown? The night is gonna be live on 2000 Havel Drive, Fight Mara, New Jersey, 08065. And boost up 23. Yes, it's over. The search is over. And the ladies are ready. Apparently, we are anticipating the maiden events. Who 
Trust the crowd for African Most Beautiful USA 2023. Date, Saturday, July 29th, 2023. Venue was Claridge Hotel, Atlanta City. NJ08401. Cameras, lights, and action. African Most Beautiful USA. Red carpet on the night is gonna be a dynasty. RTs on the bill. Kelvin Boy, Obrafo, Dada KD, Natty Borax, FBS. JD Cultural Truck and Cora Obini. What are you waiting for? Grab your tickets now. Get your tickets from www.eventbrite.com. The, the, the most anticipated night for an African girl living in the States? Who wears the crown? Ambusa, African most beautiful USA. You, you are, are the one. one. The search is over. Are you ready for 29th July? African most beautiful USA. Who wears the crown? The night is gonna be live from 2000 Howell Drive, by Mara, New Jersey, 08065. Ambusa 23. Yes, it's over. The search is over. And the ladies are ready. Apparently, we are anticipating the maiden event. Who wears the crown for African most beautiful USA 2023? Date, Saturday, July 29th, 2023. Benny was Claridge Hotel, Atlanta City. NJ08401. Cameras, lights, and action. African most beautiful USA. Red carpet on the night is gonna be a dynasty. RTs on the bill. Kelvin Boy, Abrafo. Dada KD, Natty Borax, FBS, JD Cultural Truck, and Cora Obini. What are you waiting for? Grab your tickets now. Get your tickets from www.eventbrite.com. The, the, the most anticipated night for an African girl living in the States? Who wears the crown? Ambusa, African most beautiful USA. You, you are the one. one. The search is over. I bring you greetings from the former Minister of Sanitation, Honorable Cecilia Dapa, and the family. We're doing well. God is still in control. It's one of those things that can happen to everybody. Um, yesterday, our Honorable Carlos Ahimkras statement. That who asked the woman to go and report at all that heaven is <laughs> missing? George Gray said, What is one million dollars? He's a very smart man, of man. He's also getting his bash. The woman herself, that has been picked up by a special prosecutor, is getting her bash. I am not too much and choose about what is happening because my angle of conversation is slightly different from what everybody might be discussing. But it is my message of greetings to all of you. Should you report when your money is missing in a country where you will be asked to justify how the money came, that sincerely speaking, the way the money came was not a criminal process. Honorable Wikin Singh over the weekend said a woman had two funerals. And out of the funerals, these are donations that might have come from contractors that she has done some work for. So two contractors could easily come and donate as a result of the death of your mother, your sister. What is coming into mind is, do you have anybody who, in case your mother dies, can contribute at least 50,000 Ghana at your funeral grounds? Do you have anybody who can run around for you in terms of financial support I be? As I speak and think about Honorable former sanitation minister. For me, I believe has brought us a bigger financial loss and brought bad into his excellency, the president. I don't know why she resigned. For me, I don't think resignation was the answer of the day. 
she could have still been in office because it was not monies that are missing in the office that she needs to step aside so to pave way for investigation but i don't know why she resigned till today but according to a letter that we all read the reason for resignation was as a result of protecting the interests of the president and the party as a whole that nobody will use her black paint to as it were paint the party because there's a bigger picture coming up which is 2024 breaking the eight so she sacrificed herself so as to have the breaking the eight come to pass i pray that her sacrifice will not go in waste because Bible says, and when a new pharaoh came, he didn't know what Joseph did for Egypt. And for that matter, the whole Israelites went into servitude. They became servants. So there are times that we are doing such things. Be careful who you are sacrificing for, why you are sacrificing. This is food for thought. The next lesson I'm learning is. You have friends who to you when issues like this come up. I keep saying that when you go into your contact and you have old school union that drains your data with no input into your financial relationship and life that you are living, delete them. You go to your Facebook and you can't add up sensible friends because. 5,000 you have hit. By any time you attempt to do live or post an image, you have seven people coming to comment. Three days and nobody has come to comment. You have people around who don't have data problem. They are sitting at a place where Wi-Fi is available that they want users. They maybe share your video. They will not comment on what you're doing. What is the essence? Of keeping people like this and appreciating them. But when it's their birthday, they know you have a page that can you post for me. Can we all do the honors to ourselves? By what? Yeah. Can we all do the honors by sharing the page? I only certify side chick. It's a long time I heard from her on social media. This afternoon, she will hit her head with a phone call from me. In Atlanta, I know she's doing well by the grace of God. You too, I want to welcome you to all the issues we are supposed to discuss today. 20 issues. Cecilia, you trying to depart is one of the highest trending issues. The response from His Excellency the President in the acceptance letter to the ex-minister of sanitation. And it's 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 Bruhaha. Yeah. Well, I don't know who said this, but Tracy handled the Yvonne Nelson situation better than I. I think that was Sarkodie appreciating that he never handled the thing well. This is hypocrisy. And it's lack of counseling in their camp. They don't have counselors in their camp. And instead of them getting the money and we using parts so we can manage their psychological well being, they don't do that. Whatever it is, everything that we are doing, we will not pay for all before we die. Some are paid for. After we are dead, we go. So be careful what you do. Madam Cecilia de Pass says the money we are mentioning is not up to what is missing. So she's giving us the right figures. Well, all these and more on our trending issues. But Ghana where? has its own. And usually, there can be a timeless. Mark Brown, 
Joyce Dumas. I mean, the pictures of beautiful celebrities, female celebrities, and I am not among them. Why? Because I'm a male. And there's something that goes on. We say, oh, Ghana, the assembly by a cancer, you be a big guy, can You know, that kind of thing. And it's becoming true. So when you have a problem, oh, Jamu, Ebeba, I nearly killed someone. And the Dusty Shears horrific high school experience. Okay. Because of that Adisadel incident, and the Dusty too was saying he nearly killed someone. Maybe Enes Anokano, but Chalasem did not say Those who take selfie doing worship don't respect God. This particular thing is that you have Black Sherry's father. Quicks to fetch his son 40,000. Wow. Yes, we do not do this over porn content. On your mama, she shares the involvement in, in, in the birth of Mark Brown's kitchen at home. Okay. All right. So, these are a few things that happened. What are we discussing this morning? We are being in the news for a lot of positive reasons, especially since I was encouraged to move from my uh, marital home to go and join my wife's mother and sisters. The respect alone is making me feel very dull. I have now learned that if I've been, if I could have gone there earlier, my life could have been better. But we encourage all of you that as poor as your wife's family will be, still go. So here is a young man who doesn't know how to bath and carry the water from the bathroom. But goes to Labadi, Usu, Tashiro, wow. The indigenous or renovated properties. This is the style. Better still, even more for the bathrooms, they use cloth to cover the when the wind blows, nobody sees you because what you have is a family property. <laughs> this is where your pomade is used by everybody. <laughs> you don't have special pomade because everybody. Why? <laughs> And even when they collect your pomade to pomade themselves, not because it is a recommended pomade for them, but we live in a compound house of what nearly for you. They don't bring it back. You go and ask them, hey, hey, and what on to you when you put some in their palm? I mean, more if you and then you just take a scoop into your, hey, but me, then you make But this is the recommendation of baby Abigail, and we've been pushing baby it. Gladys. Baby Gladys, we've been pushing it. And it has not been easy at all. I've gotten my fair share of insults because somebody verbal, verbally called me and said, We are Jimmy Fopa. And you now see Berman and Hunsu, you have my own worry. Have you had an answer? You got to my ear, you didn't move here. What is that? We are Bunsam. We are Bunsam. We are Bunsam. And I listened to all the insults. Then I came back quietly to say, Ah, Minka said, Bear more than the Yiri Mami Fiyo. You see, Bear man, the Hunsu. Me more worry. Now Minka said, The Hunsu, ya, Uko Pedeng, Ewa Wasi Fiyo. Going to, I hear last week when Baby Gladys was speaking to her, she said, Imagine you engage somebody like Kwame despite in your family so they will give you respect based on what you are bringing on the table so don't go there empty as a matter of fact it is not that you are going to you are going to sleep in your mother-in-law's house because you don't have a place to sleep it is because you want to allow your children and their mother have a better bond with their mother your mother-in-law and their 
grandmother. And I said it clear that she means that you are going there with money. So don't go there with empty hands. Go there and let them be happy you are in the house. Let them greet you like the way they are greeting me because they know after every greeting, Ngoya. Omi I have changed 2020, 50, 50, and I'm just distributing every time they greet me. I am happy about it. Welcome back. Sorry for this serious technical break. And we will do our best to address the issue. So I will just share with you the experience of living in your mother-in-law's house. It's a good one. You are respected everywhere. The children don't make noise when you are sleeping. Because your mother-in-law, when you're a pen, you blow more ground, and you can't say, 
you are shielded and protected. So, like um, it was said, try it. But remember that don't bring a poor man to your mother's house because his poverty can affect your riches. The other part is that I said that you should go and develop the house of your wife if you want to live. But that's where I will, I will bring in um, maybe Gladys today to ask a few questions before my main topic will come and then we'll, we'll, we'll wrap up. And go. Now, now, my dear, good morning. Morning. This issue that I'm struggling with, with all the I I have I uh, I have gone through it psychologically, playing the slates in my mind, and the implementation is not going to be. So, what if the standard of living in your wife's house is not part of your living? For example, toilet facility. For example, bathroom, room for sleeping. I mean, you have three children. Hey, sorry, you're not getting married. Those of us who are going, we, we went back with six children. There are rooms that they put on it. But I'm saying, you are now getting married. And you can see clearly that your wife's family house is a place that is difficult to live there. Should you go and invest in your house? You see, um, thank you very much and good morning to all your viewers. Thank you too. Share the page. Share the page. Sorry for the break. We're going and then the break will stop us. Okay. This uh, thought of mine came about as a result of the topic that we were discussing. Accidental marriage. Accidental and marriage. We are doing what next if the marriage is accidental? So, uh, my suggestion that I put across was in line with preventing accidental marriage. Okay. Now, where your wife comes from is part of her, like what has made her yes. who she is. Yeah. And Hoping uh, that one day she will grow and also do something better for herself. Yes. And me personally, I love where I come from. Okay. And but I don't you are feel ashamed from, of good. my environment. Is it, is it I don't feel ashamed of my environment. Okay. Because nobody can point their left hand to their, their, their yes. place. Regardless of how that place is. Okay. Today, I can go back. Okay. Stay there. Okay. And I'm happy. Okay. And I wouldn't want to engage my husband okay. to come and do any facelifting there. No. I, I've been married for more than 15 years. And okay. if the place is still the way I left it, then uh, there's a question mark on my family. Okay. Certainly, those who are still living there may have done some slight innovation and a little improvement. Okay. So I don't want to engage my husband in going to do any facelifting. Okay. The fun of the whole idea is um, going back to enjoy the atmosphere I used to enjoy. When you were single. When I was single. You want to enjoy it in marriage. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we can do. Go ahead. <laughs> so I don't want any improvement to distort and create any bad impression that uh, my family is you know not up and doing and I have to bring my husband to come and do polishing and all that no. so anyhow it looks you will want to let him come and leave in it. Yes. Okay. It's just like going for a camp. camp. And this is forever living. No, like my, product. my my suggestion was not for forever living. Oh, okay. I thought you said it's a permanent place to live. 
my my I, I I said from the beginning that the reason why I made that comment was because of the topic we were discussing. Okay. Okay. Oh, so you're not advocating that when you marry, live in your mother in law's house as a man. I'm not advocating. It's just a suggestion that I made. But that is something like that you're painting. You're painting out there. Yes. If and you to. still believe that the man will be a happy man there? Why not? So, uh, 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 somebody else said yes. the, this thing that you're saying. It happened to them that the the husband traveled. And so, when he came back to Ghana, they didn't have a place to live. So, the only available place was the mother's house. So all the money their husband bought, they brought from abroad was in their house there. And the family chop all. Her family? Yes. <laughs> is How it? did the, her family chop all the money? This is the breakdown. One of her cousins started a relationship with her husband. Wow. And the husband initially was not too happy in the house and wanted to go back. But when the cousin associated with the husband, it was a blessing that the man was happy and he wanted to go back. No way. But he had a no way in Ghana. And that is how the money got finished. The cousin rather had been able to buy a plot of land from the husband's money. And they have finished that building there. And as he's talking to me, the Norway husband is rather threatening to break the marriage and go marry the cousin they met in the house. And the cousin's mother is also happy about it. <laughs> so she also called me and said she's a victim. That if she didn't carry the husband to the mother's house and be happy that the cousin was making the husband happy in Ghana. I know that uh, there will be uh, more than a million reasons why it, is, it will not be advisable to go and live in your wife's family house. A lot of people may have so many reasons and some have bitter experiences. This could, this could be one of them. I still keep saying that the reason why I made that suggestion was because of the topic. And I personalize it. So it, will, it, it may not work for everyone. For everyone. So it's not a common thing that you want no, us no, to do. No, 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 no. Then I think I'm, I'm, I, I think I, I'm also telling people that I've supported that we should do it. Mm -hmm. So right now, if you see people are insulting you or insulting me, it's because I am an advocate for this reality of living. But it's good that you make your wife's house, your wife's mother's house, habitable so that when your children go there, you know they are secure. That one too, I think it makes sense. Yes, yes. And when they are even witches in your wife's family house, deal with them before you send your children. And mind you, if you kill all the witches, it will also not help you. But leave some to put fear in your children. I don't know if you understand that one. But I am okay in living that long corridor. <laughs> so for Wangabu, so for Wangabu. I've enjoyed it. And I think my house bills are also down. Even though, according to my wife, we will not stay here for long. And she keeps telling me, Omi is sure each one of us where I mean, he is too happy. We'll go back home. And I think I enjoy that because the distance from my wife's family house to work is too short and appreciable as compared to my humble abode is too far and i'm losing my potency as a result of long traffic let's do it how it is supposed to be done in the right but this morning um maybe glad one of the questions we are asking is if marriage of accident has been identified with all the things you have said including this recommendation or suggestion you brought if you identify that the marriage is by accident or is accidental, what next should you do? Especially where 
the marriage has produced children, has produced properties, has produced names, has produced image. For example, Odati Lamte's wife was Mrs. Lamte, and the, the accommodation is like on bears a need in terms of direction. Oh, Mrs. Lamte feel the last one award, you know. So Mrs. Lutrot, because when we marry, it's easy for people to associate our dwellings with our wives than our husbands. Unless otherwise your husband is like me, who is my Pemjini, loud everywhere they go. So the question is straightforward. If you identify that this marriage of mine is accidental, what next? Okay, thank you very much. I think the first thing is to uh, accept the reality that you are in an accidental marriage. You found yourself in an accidental marriage. And you need to work on yourself or you need to work towards getting yourself solutions. Okay. The second thing is to seek for counseling. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. You seek for counseling. Okay. Uh, you can go for the counseling yourself. Like the first point is to go for the counseling yourself. Okay. Then you take your spouse. Okay. So now the two of you are going for counseling and then you are that is if it's in ready the same to go. line. Oh, well, if you explain to him that you think the two of you are in an accidental marriage. So that's the first thing. It. Yes. I mean, accidental marriage cannot be identified usually by both. One party will realize that we are in an accidental marriage. <laughs> One party marriage. will realize. So, so if you have realized that we are in an accidental marriage, go and do your body works. We, the two of us are in it, so we'll solve it together. Well, but as a counselor, I met a lot of men who are not ready to come and see me, even though their wives are coming. And I've also come across women who are not ready to come to where I am. However, uh, the the husbands are ready, but the wives are not. So your 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 last part is the biggest one. That go for counseling, but wherefore the people involved are not ready. Uh, what do you do? You, you work towards it. It now becomes a project for you. You work towards it. Okay. Gradually. Your partner will come to the understanding and then join you for the counseling. Okay. Then you see how best you can resolve or work work around being in the accidental mind. I'm sure that doing the counseling, they will lay the cards before you so that you are giving the option to either continue being in a relationship or marriage or quitting the marriage. So the intent of going... Is not obviously going to repair the marriage alone, but there should be a lot of options. Yes. And one of them is to go and quit the marriage yes. or is to go and stay in the marriage. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, accidental marriages, your attendance to go and seek for help is not always to stay. Yeah, it's it also if, to move on. It is better to leave before you end up either committing suicide or dying. So okay. if you realize you cannot manage, I will advise that you quit. So going to quit and going to stay. Somebody says, I told somebody that you need counseling before divorce. And he says, what is the importance of coming to talk to you once I, I have made a decision to walk out? Um, 
what will be your advocacy? Why you think that people really must go through this process when they identify that they are in an accidental marriage? Why are you getting for them to go for counseling? Counseling, counseling is good. It helps you to make an informed decision. You see? So, I will advise that even if you don't go for counseling, speak to someone. Because I have identified that this is an accidental marriage. Yes. I got pregnant and he married me not because he loved me, but he married me because <laughs> of the pregnancy. I just realized that I was married to this man because my parents forced me into it. And so the, the, the indicators are there. And the child we give birth to is nine years. And you're saying that I should go for counseling and let a counselor know that this man sitting down didn't marry me because he loves me, but married me because I was pregnant for him. That is why I want to think that as a data marriage, does it really come for both of us? Or there are times that it's only one party? Because if the other party is not ready to work out, and you are ready to work out, uh, it becomes difficult. I, I feel very stupid and sorry for this strong word in the morning where constantly you are asked to affirm your love for each other. Do you truly love me? I think it's an emotional blackmail. Somebody said something yesterday and the statement was like, after a woman... You can easily know when she doesn't love you, but a man is difficult. And I say, how? He said, you can even know that in bed. That when they, are, when they don't love you, when you're ready for sex, they will mind you. And somebody just live, give a live testimony that he has been with the wife. They are not in talking terms for the past seven years, but they have sex. Mm. How is that possible? Okay, so for somebody, it's strange. But the people that when they are not in talking terms with you, they won't give you sex. But I've heard a lot of people saying that we are not talking, so no, that is not part of the quarrel. You get your sex all right. So if you tell me that women easily tell you they don't want you anymore, because the signal is by not allowing you to penetrate, it's not true. All this will give you access to their body but not their bodies. Do you get it? So identifying accidental marriages could just be one-sided. One-sided because the woman feels the marriage is accidental and the man doesn't feel same. So what next? I feel you married me because of the visa. I feel you married me because of X, Y, Z. But usually it's not so. Maybe it was marriage of convenience from the beginning. But there's a change now in plan. It's no more marriage of convenience. What of that too? What next if you identify that this marriage I'm in was contracted through accident. What next? What should you be the way forward? Your comments are brought to you by Ginger Honey Chips. The link is there. You can just click on it. And as you click on the link, you can come into my green room and I will welcome you to be part of my conversation. Our question is, if you realize that your marriage that you are in is as a result of an accident, accidental marriage, you realize that you didn't just come in to marry because 
you wanted to, but pregnancy, poverty, you needed a place to sleep. And the guy gave you a place to sleep. And that is how marriage came up. A pastor forced you to marry the guy because he says if the guy doesn't get married, they don't give him the clerical to wear. Now you have realized it, girl. What next? Formerly you didn't know. But after this long lecture, you have known that the marriage is wrong. What should you do next? Let me see their comment here. So I have I have Evans, Danny, Danny, and I have Barbara greeting me, and this one saying an amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very very much. Um, Evans is here, and Barbara is here. So so, what next? Formerly you didn't know, but like somebody said some time ago, what you don't know. Uh, doesn't kill you. So, would, would it have been better if you don't waste your energy to go and look for this marriage, whether it is an accident or not, but rather live your life. Be in it. Stay in it and die. Or don't care. Don't inquire whether it's accidental or is not. Live it like that. Because going to know it will not add anything to the game. Should you go that tangent to as well? Yes, me. Thank you very much for passing through, my dear. How are you? I hope you're doing well, girl. You can see the link. Okay. I will do a repost for you. So. What next? I now know that my marriage is by accident. I know it. So once I know it, what next? me ba an cry na me ni baby da station station ya na ni pada e jware was station station to have five cities 50 pesos and na nyame adom me share no de no kure ni nyame ni me jware jware e di di ofie into no de ye ka no kure de a wa jime enti em se me ye boni aye Se man prima na wale mea. Me da ye ake tuya ne sa ye na mi tuya tina ne kom. Ene me ne. The reasons for your accidental marriage will inform the next stage or the next page of your life. 
I'm saying this because what baby Gladys said is true. Seek for help. Go for counseling. Involve the said individual. Let's all seek for help to make sure that these things work. However, there are times that for it to work, it's not both of us that support. Somebody's happy is not working. Somebody's excited is not working. A lady misbehaved toward the husband for six years in your marriage. The man endured, endured the insult, the shame, the ridicule, so many negative things. But the man went through it. In the seventh year, the one is tired, has apparently arrived, and I realized that all that she was doing was not right. So she's back, bouncing back and making sure that these things that happened will not repeat itself. Sleeping out, going and not coming home, didn't care about what the children would eat. The woman really drilled the man in the sense of teaching the man uh, a lesson for a lifetime. Unfortunately, it didn't last long. After six years, here comes the man. He wants to pay back. And a payback style is very rambolistic. Hey, is that a word like rambolistic? <laughs> is that a word called rambolistic? <laughs> what is happening now is that the man has gained grounds. The man has found a new lover and told the told the lover that I've gone to through many troubles with my wife and you have been my savior. You have been there for me. And for that matter, I need to compensate you with marriage. So the girl has been in the picture for three years. And for the three years, that is what brought the man back not to do all the evil things he wanted to do to himself. <clears throat> now the woman has repented. She's back. And want to make things work. When the man is far three years away. Three years away. Three years. Somebody has grabbed the heart of the husband for three years. And the lady has vowed not to let somebody's husband go. <laughs> not to let somebody's husband go. It's difficult to very, very difficult. And the man doesn't look too connected, but looks confused. If it's you, what will you do?
people. Where the wife who has been punishing the man going out there sleeping with everybody. Not, unfortunately, the woman says she never sleep with anybody. She didn't cheat. But girls, girls. She can leave the house, go and sleep in a friend's house. Charlie did that for seven years. Didn't give regards to the husband. When he complains, he carries the children, go and damn the children. And kept saying that if he follows the husband's attitude, she will die. And the husband has not done anything. As if to say it was a demonic attack. She's come back. She's really come back. But in her comeback, a man is not coming back. And the reason for the man not coming back is because somebody has been in the picture for three years and the lady too is working towards marriage. And that will be my next conversation after this quick commercial break to fix my technical problem. Thank you. I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America. Everywhere you want. 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this. Or better still, put it on your cocoa. Rice water. Oatmeal. You can put it in me, Akbadashi. Your whiskey. Your body. Anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice. 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 <laughs> oh my God. Ginger honey chips. 862-215-2007. Yeah, you keep the rib. 862-215-2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. Ten dollars, free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America, everywhere you want, 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal. You can put it in me, Akbadashi. Your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. So nice, nice, nice. Oh my god. Ginger honey chips. 862-215-2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. Ten dollars. Free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Waiting. Ginger honey chips. We're back right after the commercial bit. Very, very, very back welcome. And I think that, well, it's, it's good. So I, like I was saying earlier on, the, the challenges that we have faced or we are facing yeah, cover their face with the brand. Yeah. So I think you see that my eyes are no wee smoking eyes. The challenges that we face as a result of 
bad marriages, accidental marriages. We identify that this young man who, after three years, has found a lover who is more important in his life than any other thing. Comfort, thank you for coming. And based on what they have found, the lady believes that she is the most important thing that has happened in the life of this man. And so she's refusing not to mock. She's refusing not to um, give back somebody's husband to her. What are you? What job? What job? You And why not you some funny crew your money back? Time a bear money bought that mostly on your share bear one. Or say time a bear money. Oh yes, I dream. I own pet. Or come back or bought them. Nami na me ye. Nebu fwe ni na me sun ole beba. I mean the things that man have gone through. I'm the only person who can say what I have done for this man. And all I was looking forward to, this accidental marriage should collapse. So that I become the next wife in line. And it's not been easy. The man is struggling. The man actually wishes to go back to the wife. But feels the wife have done too much. And he's feeling guilty for the three years management member in his life. My friend. So you've identified that the marriage between the two of you were accidental. Because the wife told him a lot of things in pain. Menu and young Kale Yam no wapank, Naka Mimi Yadewa. Yamma said me yen in our catch. The things I'm supposed to do because of you, I have gone back ten years of my usual life. And you are my problem. You are the reason why I've not achieved anything in my life. The woman spoke, and the man was hurt. They call a the woman on more than 12 occasions. She will respond in front of the leaders. And even where she's supposed to beg and say sorry, according to the man, the man, woman will kneel down, hold his leg, and apologize. I'm sorry, forgive me, honey. And let's leave. When the leaders leave their house, and then they go and come back, then he goes like, and took a friend was on bed, don't make me read. So I'm about to power to you. Why are you doing? Who can say, but Jimmy? Now come by, I mean, she will send me a day. So when the leaders come, the woman deliberately behaves like, I am sorry. What I'm doing is not right. Please help me beg my husband. But immediately, when they leave, unfortunately, it's not. So now this three, the girl with three years, of waiting to become Mrs. Lutrot. Because then the Mrs. Lutrot was misbehaving. People, what should be done? What should be done in this accidental marriage? The woman has repented. Now she talks well to the man. She's, can you imagine that the man said, within the three years of their life, he have missed you. I'm paid you. It's a long time. Hey, would you worry the bed? You know, we need three years. You won't try to be simple. Eh? Well, good morning to you too. So, I'm saying that the lady has been in the picture for three years to make sure that things will work. Unfortunately, and this, uh, the woman is back. When you know, Obi had you know, who has here the channel. But Oko, you know, Obi had the show, and fear me, and so on. On any day, on any common one, and what yes, so what next? 
this is one scenario of an issue that I'm handling. And I would like to take your thoughts on it. And the girl in question who was in the space for three years out of their seven years marriage of bad blood has of us also said she cannot leave this man for this woman fully because when the man met her, she was then 29. Three years down the line, she is 32 and have gone through a lot to make this man live. She says to me, I didn't cause any trouble in their marriage, but there was trouble and I saved the man from dying. Should I be punished with her recovery? If, for example, the woman was, has gone insane and has recovered from her mental breakdown, should all of us be punished for her recovery? Can I have your thoughts on this? Because I have the next 20 minutes to close. Share your mind with me. For close to seven years, done everything except cheating, according to her, which I believe. She did girls, girls. Didn't watch the man says for the seven years. No cooking for him, no sex for him, no feeding. She did once, and when he spoke about the food, so was he. And like joke, she was not doing anything in the house. The man says the only thing that the woman kept doing was and quality fees and quality say we want a shaman in a call sika nisha now women the quiet and endorse that's all so like a housemate and he was also constantly doing that until the third year out of the seven years he also met a girl and the girl is the one who is now saying she has been in the picture for three years to keep the man alive. Why is it that now that the man has left, the woman has regained back her consciousness and identified as a dental marriage and is working on it? Everybody's expecting that job. Why should she? given to this man and i want your thoughts what next after you've identified as a dental marriage the cracks the pain the worry the backlash the evidence of no sex for seven years no feeding for seven years no washing of his clothes he was provided he said there was a time that the rent, rent was 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 due and requested an opportunity that the lady helps. And the lady said, to me, I mean to got trauma and more. Unye scanibia, me aba, misika de me fam la lai emri ji 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 uh oh jimmy baby be something he said. Emre na chum. See see adi and yatsi. All these things he has endured. They are two kids. And the man says he has realized that a woman is washing her things, putting food on the table, whether he will eat or not, pushing himself for sex. And for the past nine months, on us why I have been so fan of her, man, who pierced the other day, I was so good. On your day, share your thoughts with me. Yango. Don't just share your thoughts. Your comments to our work. You can join the link now, enter the room, and let's have a chat together. Yanko.
So you've identified accidental marriage, and this is one of them. The other one is that the accidental marriage that they identified was that the man had an opportunity to travel. And it was a big opportunity. So he wanted to travel with the kids. They have not had good marriage. Their marriage has always been fight, misunderstanding. But when the opportunity came, he decided to, as it were, go with the opportunity and add the family to it. Then the request of confirmation of paternity claim. And but osi oba ni chire ni be bi odi nkola ni fi it has brought crack and this accident we have to do the body works so the first one is that girl be a be bata wade no ho a on person be why e say we be bo abe ma na enya ni sanity osi onko e mo mu nyo mo wari ni should we blame the woman for seven years of more treatment of somebody's son? How many men will even stay with you for seven years? Or because somebody else was there. And the girl is saying that if it is not me, you not even get back your husband to come and say that I want to continue the marriage. The man has promised to marry me too. I'm 32 years. I spent three years of my life with this man. I can't go because it's a nice man. What should be done? The woman wants the husband back. Unfortunately, the woman doesn't know why the husband is not responding to all the good things she's doing now. But I am in the in the picture and I know that there's a lady that is causing this. Yasmin, workman. Yasmin, welcome. Welcome. Good afternoon or good morning to everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What is the time in your place? It's one. Uh, it's one ten. One. One person. Dawn or afternoon. Afternoon. Oh, we are one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 one part ten. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. Thank you for the information. So, what is your take? Now you realize that the marriage is accident. What should you do next? What next? Yes, mate. Adia Pena, can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Okay. So, your comments, so that we go ahead, please. Eh, Diana may can say, Obani be money in Nano. Omni and Nano be any ready so be one. Yes, and correct. And our area to say, O free gun and our call, it's like traveling. O free gun and our call, maybe any part of the country. Okay. And to know. Now, share us our own soir. 
Men men fall back because o fall back dey be o ko dream the middle of nowhere na fade e. We need ten first for crowd be turn so already. Okay. And you know, I think say our you know it's all kinds of a enormous baby. And you know, so we need radio. Don't go. And I don't think say girl no so enjoy be man man in con. She 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 feel that way because. And so on and on, the man has an answer, but I was so unhuman to say, Nan, a bear man, no one in war. No, I that only Oban in a war, even Obani and a Sangina, no Sanka Berman be jab or banner. Nanko Jan more near no better nigh, and call Bugu a bearman be the king go away. But bear man on Usha Musa, so on Pell Banner and Connus will be Jan and to win Jan and it means to say, On no near ready so be Jay or Ban because no pen, even the Albani dear Nina, you know. And to know, I don't think so. Man no was all that truthful to Obano. Okay, it's not truthful to Obana, as he is saying. The girlfriend. If you say on your truth for what do you mean by on your truth? Because girl in himself a pan will come. And he being truthful in any day. And yes, one can try to counselor. It doesn't matter. So on him send the universe to say on say on sister to say maybe counselor says here oh wow wow and I know you're right. And I will hear in the yard, dear Umpe, who offer a month for Bakran on the Pachoa. Now I say, I'll Pachoa and a new mobile mobile to say, who Omu Copena was saying, you know, one soon ocean at it, you know, Uber Jao Ban. One can say, Oats in our barn, who are not so who perform before frog. Because our barn, I'll bet to me in the near future, I'll bet to me as a son. You never know. Obey to me as a obey to Miss Wans, sir. Hey, ain't you know? Bear my nose in the mistake or a and I will share my mimic shah or no, no, or by no penal, and yes, on penal. Just so if you're treating the side into no for a bar for fro. And make us say he wasn't truthful to the girlfriend and just say now, or can trust her on Wally your baby. The Ami Patch and say. Say he was being truthful with himself and can he give an uncle on in the over no attitude and uncle be jano. Now, on it, Obana wish yano for frono Atna San Uncle Bayan. Clean, yeah, well, Matia, I dear Pena, always your point is always clear. May that say, watch the wagging. Into your buyer now, or chancy and my wife, or chain and on paper. This house. Yeah, that, that was what I was saying. Into a very crazy on town. So I'm confusing now, and a girlfriend. And the girlfriend will be on call. Of course. If I was the gay and uncle major bear man, because oh. bear man, ah, when you saw Obano, so now we need to be trim plan any pana walia. I was so who say Obia walia die. We need to be in koshe mu na unkase o Obani yes entino. Because at some pana chena bear man be to me abu Obani sa Obia walajin so then they are the trim be jai. Bones are the etching no mummy and a kit or moon some normal now. Ain't it? Or banner so I know any bear man a tramp and there was some corners who say I am penetrating or moaching. As far as say bear manu, uncle quarter and I say me name say a quarter warrior and I say if you are I won't go out while you are still not known your banner over the day. I was just our girlfriend who said that she died, you know. Of course, for my share, 
Eh eh enti no ontu mi nka se bia odi na ti na hono ma enti no obeja na yire no so obeja na yire na nka weja ni dadada so she should find it's either the man compensate he should give her anything other than the marriage you know because so be wa le ge na nka oja ni yire no from the beginning no and you say bia fe na they want to resolve it you now and i'm quite to say no the girlfriend is not at fault in any way but on to na ju mu say i share na na yire no am no so mo wa wa le ni kunu that is what i'm saying into no fa wa ya ni to nche it is that say obenya ka na so obenya e dan ana bibi sadia But our lady dear, get an on to my dream. Be my own wallet. Or be wallet na go jani ye no be wallet. Well, and also your point. The two days you saw me, I was the jani ye no ye end that form sir. Yeah, I'm not. And you just na ye nya ye fear you don't make chia as soon be na ye nya no. Get an on to your point because for the past seven years. Three years no one born who bank or bought them. It's one so I would Jimmy who sounds on show who ye. But I get you. Eh, be so I brought you a wallet. Okay, you never yes. know. And then maybe a while, almost in Jina Abia. And the girl is not ready to be the only wife. She's ready uh, to okay. also be. She doesn't care to be a, a second, second wife. wife. That's what she's saying. Okay. Yes. If he says the man he is has that kind of heart, yeah, and they're not problem. And every woman needs that kind of heart. I don't have that kind wife. of heart. It depends on the type of man you will meet. Of when you course. meet a man and of your choice, you will I don't let. Have that heart. You will get it very soon. You will grow and come and meet it. Ubenyabe mm tusa -hmm. akumano. Adia Pena, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for coming to give us your thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my girl, um, Yasmid, from Saudi Arabia this afternoon, share with us her thoughts. And she believes that no matter what happened, this man will not marry this girl. So the girl should focus and look for her own. Well, that's her point. So you, your accidental marriage has been identified. The cracks and the challenges are there. It has become very difficult for this man to separate from the side dish. But the side dish is ready to move up and become a second wife because he has in, she has invested in the emotional capacity of this woman. Do you believe that she should let the man go or make a mark by becoming a wife? Well, I don't have an answer today, but I'll have an answer tomorrow. We will continue with what next if the marriage is accidental? Is it your cars that when they involve in an accident, you have to take it and go and work on it and drive? Or some you take it for them to crash? Some you sell it as crabs? I sold my car, as crabs and I've regretted. Anytime I see that car passing, I feel sad and I won't do it again. For me, I realized that I will work on all old cars because after cutting the car into pieces and selling, I've not been happy. And like magic, ever since I did it, I keep seeing the same car, plenty of people are working on their own. So why were they lying to me or encouraging me that I don't get a part? Sorrento, Nice Sorrento. I was looking for proper engine, and they said the car engine is difficult, but others are driving their own in town. So there are times that you might take a decision and you regret, just like me. If you are watching me and you are punishing your husband or punishing your wife, let's also work on it. It's true, the marriage is accident. If you want to take any decision, go ahead. Don't punish each other before you take the decision. This lady realized that the man was accident and took a decision of punishing the man. Now she's back 
and the mantle is gone. Who should be blamed? You can call me on 0277 609 644. After you identify that your mind is accidental, what next? Good morning. Let's build a page. People are not following us anymore. People are not subscribing to our pages. Let's do something. But these things we do, they are only for educational purposes. I'm excited you came. Thank you all who came to join me today. And let's make it a point to be part of my next discussion again. Bye-bye for now. Till I see you again. Bye. Is bad breath distancing you from your friends? Worry no more because NBF Gingival Gel will put a smile on your face again. It is good for bad breath, tooth decay, and gum issues. NBF Gingival Gel has antioxidant properties of vitamin C and E and soothing properties of propolis. It can also be used as a toothpaste. You can also mix it with water and gargle with it. Always remember that anytime we talk about bad breath, NBF Gingival Gel will will be there to do the magic. For bulk purchase, contact Light Pharma and Leading Pharmaceuticals or call us on 0200-799-325 or 0267-569-764. And we have Gingival Gel, your new best friend for your mouth. This advertisement has been approved by the FDA. bad breath distancing you from your friends? Worry no more because NBF Gingival Gel will put a smile on your face again. It is good for bad breath, tooth decay, and gum issues. NBF Gingival Gel has antioxidant properties of vitamin C and E and soothing properties of propolis. It can also be used as a toothpaste. You can also mix it with water and gargle with it. Always remember that anytime we talk about bad breath, NBF Gingival Gel will be there to do the magic. For bulk purchase, contact Light Pharma and Leading Pharmaceuticals or call us